For the upcoming model year, Event and Bikes are bringing updates to their Adventure all-terrain bike. To make new Adventure 2 e-bikes suitable for a bigger share of riders, the manufacturer introduced two frame sizes, as well as step-over and step-through designs. As a result, this model is suitable for a full spectrum of riders from 5 feet 3 inches to 6 feet 4 inches tall. The bike's ability to conquer sandy, rocky, or snowy hills is backed up by such components as 26 by 4 inch fat tires, a suspension fork with 80 millimeters of travel and lockout, powerful hydraulic disc brakes, and a thumb throttle for reaching speeds up to 20 miles per hour. The pedal assist system is also present. Four-level pedal support with a torque sensor ensures smooth power delivery and a more natural riding experience at speeds nearing 28 miles per hour. The electrified riding comes courtesy of a 48-volt, 15-amp-hour battery pack with LG cells. It will reportedly last for up to 60 miles between charges. Your riding speed, battery charge, as well as the most important riding data is displayed on the backlit LCD screen, while the additional features and stats are transmitted to the specialized Aventon app for your phone. Troxxas Explorer is the latest representative of the class of fat tire adventure bikes. The two-wheeler is based on a sturdy aluminum alloy frame that is offered in either a step-over or step-through design. The frame can accommodate riders between 5 feet 4 inches and 6 feet 10 inches tall and can withstand loads up to 353 pounds. Even though it's a hardtail bicycle, the front suspension fork and 26 by 4 inch fat tires should give you enough cushioning on any type of terrain. The model is equipped with an 8-speed gear shift system and a 5-level electric pedal assist feature to let you effortlessly climb hills. The electric assist comes courtesy of a 750-watt brushless hub motor. The highest pedal assist level would let you ride at speeds up to 28 miles per hour. However, the throttle power is present too. Please note that the maximum pedal-free speed is limited to 20 miles per hour. The motor is hooked up to a 48-volt, 20-amp-hour battery pack that can last for 36 miles without pedaling. The pedal-assisted range is estimated to be as high as 62 miles. Due to its nature, Troxxas Explorer is likely to become your useful companion during an overlanding trip, so it was strategically equipped with a rear rack, good for carrying gear or installing an optional passenger seat. With almost a dozen of electric bike models in its current lineup, Psy Rusher is no stranger to developing high-quality electric bicycles with an affordable pricing. However, this year, the brand claims to have produced the most advanced model in its history. The Psy Rusher Ranger is a multi-purpose bicycle that should handle rough terrain as easy as smooth tarmac. The model has a low frame design that both shorter and taller riders would find comfortable. Moreover, if you're trying to score some style points, the Ranger is offered in three captivating dual-color schemes – green, white, and black. The powerful looks are backed up by a robust suspension setup. You get an adjustable lockout fork in the front and an air suspension in the rear, 26 by 4 inch Kenda tires with puncture resistance, and a 750-watt rear hub motor. This motor unit can put out 1,200 watts of peak output and 59 pound-feet of torque granting you 28 mile per hour speed capabilities. In order to effortlessly control the power output, the bike is equipped with hydraulic brakes with 180 millimeter discs both in the front and in the rear. Depending on your needs, you can choose between five different pedal assist modes, using the thumb throttle for electric only riding or completely silence the powertrain to ensure a traditional cycling workout. The motor is juiced by a frame-integrated 52-volt, 20-amp-hour battery pack with an estimated riding range of 50 miles. The remaining range, as well as other performance metrics, are readily available on the programmable LCD screen. New Velotrek Nomad 1 was developed as a universal form of transport. Owing to its swept-back handlebars, you can keep a straight-back riding posture, which is perfect for rush-free daily commuting. However, at the same time, this e-bike is equipped with 26 by 4 inch puncture-resistant fat tires, 
so you can take it beyond the tarmac and onto the adventurous dirt trails. A brief look at the bike's spec sheet reveals quality components, namely a 750-watt motor that peaks at 1200 watts and has 25 mile per hour capabilities, a removable 48-volt, 14.4 amp-hour battery pack with LG cells and 55-mile range autonomy, hydraulic front suspension with 80 millimeters of travel and lockout, an 8-speed drivetrain with a thumb shifter and a cadence sensor for pedal assist, hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors, 26 by 4 inch fat tires with puncture-resistant lining, and a 3.5-inch LCD display for tracking battery and performance data. With such a setup, Nomad 1 looks like one of the best value-for-money models in its class. Moreover, this Class 2 e-bike is offered in two frame designs, High Step and Step Through. The former is suitable for riders between 5 feet 6 inches and 6 feet 9 inches tall, while the latter can be comfortably ridden by people between 5 feet 1 inch and 6 feet 4 inches. Electric powertrains allowed us to reconsider the concept of biking and enabled us to use them more frequently and efficiently. For example, if you're a mountain biking enthusiast, then models like the new Himiwe Rhino will let you travel for longer distances while using a fraction of your physical potential. Rhino's long-distance capabilities are backed up by a dual-battery setup. Two 48-volt, 15-amp-hour units can reportedly provide up to 100 miles of pedal-assisted riding. Speaking of pedal assist, its type will depend on the bike's trim level. The base Rhino is equipped with a 1,000-watt hub motor and a cadence sensor, while the Rhino Pro is using a more advanced 1,000-watt mid-drive motor with a torque sensor. Not a fan of pedaling at all? That's not a problem since the thumb throttle feature is readily available on both trim levels and can take you to 25 mph speeds without any pedal input. Being a mountain bike, Hemiway Rhino has a good deal of class-specific gear namely 26 by 4.5 inch fat tires, Tektro 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes, robust 6061 aluminum frame for carrying loads up to 400 pounds, Shimano gear shift system, and a front suspension fork with lockout and adjustments. Other useful features include front LED lights and integrated taillights, LCD display with USB charging, dual 3 amp smart charger, and a rear rack. Unlike many modern electric mountain bikes that feature a small 250-watt electric motor that gives you only an electrified pedal assist, the new Nairika Mega goes all-in with 1,500 watts of power on board. It's understandable why the competitors are going for less potent powertrains, they just want to keep the weight low. However, Nairika Mega is using a completely different approach to cutting weight. It features a lightweight carbon fiber frame that accounts for just 4.4 pounds out of the bike's 70-pound total weight. The aforementioned electric motor can be matched to an 840 watt-hour battery pack good for up to 52 miles of riding. In order to be competitive in the EMTB class, the model received a full suspension system with 140 millimeters of travel, hydraulic disc brakes with ABS, and oversized 26 by 4 inch knobby tires. Narika Mega is offered in two frame sizes, the standard 18 inch and a 20 inch one for the comfort of taller riders. Besides the frame size, you can also choose between four distinct color options, standard or upgraded braking rotors, 480 or 840 watt-hour battery pack, and default or upgraded control display. Even though consumers are constantly requesting more affordable e-bike models that would let people embrace electrification much faster, Texas-based Ristretto Electric Company still feels that the market still has enough room for one more premium e-bike. With the new Ristretto 512, the company is following the footsteps of manufacturers that can't get enough of moped-style designs. In order to cater to the needs of both shorter and taller riders, the bike's motorcycle-inspired frame is offered in two sizes, 20 and 24 inches. The smaller bike costs $400 less and is rolling on a set of 20 by 4 inch fat tires, while the full-size model features 24 by 4 inch tires designed for handling most road conditions.
from smooth tarmac to spiky gravel. In the power department, both 20 and 24-inch versions are identical. They put to use an electric motor that can actuate its output from 750 to 4500 watts and let you switch between Class 1, 2, and 3 e-bike performance. In the off-road mode, the on-demand throttle will let you reach speeds close to 40 miles per hour. To let you efficiently traverse through sand, dirt, and mud, Ristretto 512 is equipped with a double crown front fork and a rear shock suspension, while four piston hydraulic disc brakes will give you a complete control over the power output. This premium American bike comes equipped with a 52-volt, 30-amp-hour battery pack that can last between 50 and 100 miles, depending on the riding style and the frequency of throttle-only riding. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.